before I shot this video, I did a quick poll on Facebook asking whether or not folks wanted to see me swap the frame out. So we're going to show you exactly how it's done. First off, we're going to pull this little um, lever out, just kind of rotate it, and it kind of just comes out just like that. That's step one. Step number two is one of those things that you kind of need three hands for. So you see this little spring right here that I'm actually pulling with this screwdriver, pulling that up. That's the spring I'm talking about. So what you need to do is disengage that from the bar right here. So just kind of pull it up. And then at the same time, we're gonna push this bar over with a uh, punch. So we're gonna use a Glock tool here because I have like 15 of those laying around in this particular room that we film in. And hopefully if we can do it again, it's infinitely easier if you don't have to do this on camera. But for you guys, we'll do it. Yeah. You guys shouldn't have said I should do this on video. It's always so much easier when you guys aren't the ones doing it, right? Eh. Alright, I'm just gonna do it. I'm not even gonna pay attention to the camera. Alright, there you go. So we're gonna push that across. Just like this. We don't want to lose that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to push in the uh, decocking button that you would use to decock the trigger and sort of just pull up on the chassis. It should all sort of come out once we get it up. Pull up in the front a little bit to get it started. Once you have it up. Oops. There you go. Now a few things I want to point out that I was thinking could get folks in trouble is the way the trigger engages here. So this is the trigger bar. It's got to go between these two uh, little pins. Just to let you guys see that there. Um, when I was when I was doing this the first time, I was thinking, Brett is going to have some calls because of that. I can pretty much assure you. So we're just going to pull it out. And that is the serialized chassis system. So we're going to throw it, I guess, in the OD green one. And... Uh, get started now. One thing you want to be careful about as well as this trigger spring, you want to make sure you don't pinch it because it will pop up and uh, come off and you're going to have to reset it in its position. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Lessons learned through me, kids. All right, so just like that, the trigger will come down. And again, you can put it in different positions when it goes up. So that's how you want it right there. Now, when you're putting this in, you also want to make sure that this spring right here that we talked about earlier holding up doesn't go forward because it can't. Um, you want it to stay up. So we're going to drop it in. Again, you want that trigger bar to stay up there. Like that. Alright, now you guys might be able to see that, but that spring in the rear is wanting to go forward. So we're just going to kind of hold it back while we push the chassis system in and then get everything lined up. Once you have it down where the uh, take down or the decocking lever rather is flush, we're gonna push that in. There you go. And again, just making sure the spring is back. And on this one it is, because we're paying attention to it. We're gonna put it down in place. It should pop back in just like that, and it does. Now we're gonna take this little lever. You wanna make sure the side with the cutout for the spring is towards the left of the pistol. Let's start it through. And you'll see there, that it's gonna wanna hit that spring, that little spring that we've been talking about the whole time. You're gonna lift it up and let it come through. Just like that. Now we're just going to drive it over. And we're going to make sure that's not engaging like that. There you go. Make sure that spring is set in the little detent or the little cutout rather in there, just like that. Now we're gonna put the takedown lever back in like so. And we're back in business and to reassemble the pistol, we're just gonna put our barrel in and our recoil 
uh, guide rod, rather, and recoil spring. And we're done. Since we showed you how to change the frame, I suppose we'll show you how to change the actual back straps themselves. This little piece right here, it sort of looks like a Tetris piece or something like that sticking up out of your frame. We're going to take that and push it over uh, to the shooter's right and down. You'll get a better look at it here in just a second. And it's going to dislodge this just a little bit, this piece on the end of the grip. Take a punch, put it through, pull it out, and there you can see exactly what it looks like up in the frame. You're just going to pull your grip back and replace with the larger one. Now there is the large back strap that I was talking about earlier with the beaver tail. And we're just going to put it back up in there like so. And push it all the way up. Like that. 